Lines and Angles In this module, you will learn about the line segment, line and ray, and related angles, complementary angles, and supplementary angles. Suppose a man is standing at this point, say A. If the man starts walking through this point, and stops at this point, let's call it an end point, say B. So we have this starting point and this ending point and the distance between these two points is called a line segment. The length of this line can be measured easily. Thus, we can say AB is a line segment that has two end points or we can say it is a link between two points. Also, as there are many more points lying on a line, we can also say a line segment is a collection of points. The line segment AB is denoted by a line over the top of the letters like this. If we extend this line segment indefinitely in one direction, we get a ray. So a ray starts at a point and continues off to infinity. As it can be extended in either of the direction of a line segment, we put an arrow on one of its ends. Here, we have a ray AC and it is denoted by a line of single arrowhead over the top of the letters like this. Think of the sun's rays. They start at the sun and go on indefinitely. Now, if we extend the line indefinitely from this point in the opposite direction, we get a line. So we can say a line has no end point as it can be extended in both the directions. Here we can say DC is a line and it is denoted by a line of double arrowhead over the top of the letters like this. Let's plot a point here and if we draw two rays with the same point in different direction like this, then we get an angle. So. We can say a figure having two rays and one common point is called the vertex of an angle. Can you name the angle formed in this figure? The name of the angle formed in the figure is angle CAD or angle DAC. Can you answer what kind of angle does this form? This forms an acute angle. As we know, if the measurement of an angle is less than 90 degree, then it is called an acute angle. If I move up this ray up to 89 degree, what kind of angle does this form? If the measurement of an angle is less than 90 degree, then it is called an acute angle. If I move up this ray up to 90 degree, what kind of angle does this form? If the measurement of an angle is equal to 90 degree, then it is called a right angle. If I move up this ray like this, up to 179 degree, what kind of angle does this form? If the angle measures more than 90 degree, then it is called an obtuse angle. Let's draw two line segments, which can be extended in both the directions to form two lines like this. If I place these lines in such a way that both lines intersect each other at point O, then what do you observe? Do they form any angle? And if yes, then how many angles? These lines form angles and these are Number 1, angle AOD Number 2, angle DOB Number 3, angle BOC and number 4, angle COA. Let's draw two angles that measure 40 degree and 50 degree. Do you know what kind of angles these are? Acute, obtuse, right or straight angle. Both of these angles are acute. What would be the sum of these two angles? The sum of the given angles is 90 degree and if the sum of the measure of two angles is 90 degree 
then the angles are called complementary angles. Can two acute angles be complement to each other? As we know, acute angles are less than 90 degree and complementary angles are those angles whose sum is equal to 90 degree. Thus, complementary angles are always acute angles. There are many more examples of acute angles which are complement to each other, like 60 degree and 30 degree, 48 degree and 42 degree, 75 degree and 15 degree, and 89 degree and 1 degree, and so on. Let's draw two angles that measure 70 degree and 110 degree. Do you know what kind of angles are these? Acute, obtuse, right or straight angles. Right or straight angles. The angle 70 degree represents an acute angle and the angle 110 degree represents an obtuse angle. What would be the sum of these two angles? The sum of the given angles is 180 degree. And if the sum of the measure of two angles is 180 degree, then the angles are called supplementary angles. Can two acute angles be supplement to each other? Let's take an example by drawing two angles which measure 89 degree each. But on adding both the angles, we get their sum as 178 degree, which is less than 180 degree. Thus it can be concluded that the sum of two acute angles can't be supplementary angles. Can two obtuse angles be supplement to each other? Let's draw two angles that measure 91 degree each, but their sum is greater than 180 degree. Thus it can be concluded that two obtuse angles cannot be supplement to each other. Can two right angles be supplement to each other? As the measurement of right angle is 90 degree, if we add two right angles, then we'll get the sum of 180 degree. Thus, we can say that two right angles will be supplement to each other. Let's recap. The part of a line which connects two points is called a line segment. Also, it has a definite length. Here AB is a line segment and it is denoted by a line over the top of the alphabets like this. A ray has only one end point and extends indefinitely in one direction. Here we have a ray AC and it is denoted by a line of single arrowhead over the top of the letters, like this. A line has no end point and it can be extended in both the directions infinitely. Here DC is a line and it is denoted by a line of double arrowhead over the top of the letters like this. If the measurement of an angle is less than 90 degree, then it is called an acute angle. If the sum of the measure of two angles is 90 degree, then the angles are called complementary angles. If the sum of the measure of two angles is 180 degree, then the angles are called supplementary angles.